Hello and welcome to another Mario Party 5 minigame review. Up today is our first bonus minigame in Mario Party 5, Beach Volleyball. Is it me or have we played this one before? Yeah, this is basically the same game as Beach Volley Folly from Mario Party 4's Extra Room. So if you've played that, you pretty much know what you're getting here. Wow, that must have been so good. That's why they brought it back, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. I remember really not liking it in Mario Party 4. Oh yeah, then why did they bring it back? This was a horrible mini game. I'm really not sure. I mean, it's a good concept, but I just never felt like it played very well. Our biggest issue came down to the controls. You basically just have to move around to a circle that shows where the ball is going to land, and if you're there, you'll be able to hit it back to the opposing team. But unfortunately, it was really hard for us to feel like we were doing anything that was in our control. Like, sometimes you just can't make it to the circle in time no matter what. And we also had a problem trying to figure out how to spike the ball. Like, sometimes it would work and sometimes it didn't. I think you had to be facing towards the net for it to work, but it's just a lot to keep track of in the heat of the moment. Yeah, I never really felt like I knew what I was doing. And if I did something right, I don't think I could replicate it again. It didn't feel that rewarding to play either. No, it really didn't. I mean, it wasn't overly difficult to hit the ball most times, but I never knew exactly what was going to happen when I did it. I would always try and spike it no matter what, but it wouldn't always work. And then I never knew if it was going to be passed to my opponent or go over to the net to the opposing team. I'm not sure how the game decides what to do with the ball. Yeah, it kind of just felt random sometimes. But it is cool that you can do a whole tournament in this one. There's a little more depth to it than just a regular minigame, which is nice, but it's got to be fun to play to make me want to keep doing that. Exactly. And it really lacks the unique quality because they've already done this before. If you bought Mario Party 4, then why would you play this again in Mario Party 5? Yeah, you'd have to be a big fan of it. If you guys are fans of it, let us know in the comments below because I just don't know why they brought it back. There are some different balls you can use besides a regular volleyball in this one, which can break up the monotony a little bit. One of them is a dice ball that'll just constantly be kind of rolling around, and once a team drops it and it hits the ground, whichever number is face up is how many points the other team will get. It's a good idea, but it also just feels a little flawed because the other team will get so many points. Like if you roll a 6, it's really hard to catch up to that, and games are usually over after one or two misses of a ball. Yeah, and talk about random chance. If you're playing this game because you liked it, I don't think you'd want to involve that much of a random chance in it. The other unique ball is the bob on ball. This one has a ticker that goes down to zero, and once it gets there, it blows up. So you really don't want to be in possession of the ball when that happens. I guess those are cool unique factors, but still, it's not enough to make me like this game. So overall, we didn't really care for this one very much. I suppose that if you liked it in Mario Party 4, there's no reason you won't like it in this one though. We just personally thought it was a little bit obtuse to control, and we could never tell exactly what was going to happen when we hit the ball or when we'd be able to spike it or not. It's too bad that the controls aren't very good because it is really cool having a mini game with a tournament mode in it, and the addition of two fun extra balls in it is a pretty cool way to give this a little more replayability. But it's not enough to save this one though, so we're giving it two stars out of five. Well that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Next up, we'll be reviewing the last bonus mini game, Ice Hockey. Oh, interesting. I wonder what this one will be about. Ice Hockey. Yeah, maybe. No, I, I think it's about Ice Hockey. Yeah, I don't know. You could be right. I guess we'll just have to wait until the next video to find out. If you want to see what kind of mini game this is, come back for our next video. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you then. then.